Hope Church kids, and welcome back. I hope you are having a wonderful long weekend and have a good day off on Monday. So we are going to continue our stories. This story this week is Crossing the Jordan, found in Joshua 1 to 4. So everyone can grab your Bible and turn to Joshua 1-4. If you don't have a Bible, just let us know at Hope Church and we can get you one. It's important for you to follow along in your Bible so that you know that what I'm telling you is true. Okay guys, so crossing the Jordan, Joshua 1 to 4. Joshua was the new leader of Israel. He had led the Israelites to the edge of the Jordan River. God had promised Abraham that his descendants would live in Canaan. The only thing keeping the Israelites from the land God promised to them was the Jordan River. They had to cross the river. Joshua said to all the people, get ready. Tomorrow we're going to cross the river. The river was deep and wide. The Israelites needed help crossing the river. God was going to help them. God gave Joshua and the other leaders special instructions for crossing the river. They did everything God told them to do. Some of the men carried the Ark of God ahead of the people. The Ark reminded them that God was with them. The men carrying the Ark walked to the edge of the river. Joshua said, listen, God is going to do something great. When these men carry the Ark of God into the river, God will stop the water in the river. The people watched. The men carrying the ark took a step into the river. God made the water stop. So all of the Israelites crossed the river safely on dry ground. God told Joshua, tell the people to pick up 12 stones from the middle of the, e of the river where the men are standing with the ark. They should carry the stones with them and put them down where they spend the night tonight. God had a plan for the stones. He wanted them to be a memorial. A memorial is something that helps people remember a person or something that happened. The people would see the stones and remember that God helped them cross the river. In the future, when children saw the stones and asked, what are these stones? The people could tell their children that God stopped the water so they could cross the river. The Israelites did exactly what God told them to do. They picked up 12 stones and made a memorial. The men with the ark crossed the river and the water began to flow again. The river was wide and deep like it was before. At last, God's people were in the promised land. Yay, we made it, they made it. <laughs> So God was with Joshua and the Israelites as they went into the promised land. He showed his power to them so they would trust in him. When Jesus came to earth, he showed his power so people would trust in him and be saved from sin. Okay guys, we're gonna do our Bible verse, Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Can you speak it now that I just sing it all the time? Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. <laughs> Shorter that way, hey? Um, so guys, we're going to do our music video next, and then we're going to do our craft. You know what? If you have a favorite Bible verse, why don't you let us know at Hope Church, and maybe we can memorize that Bible verse for the month of June. So let us know at Hope Church what your favorite Bible verse is, and maybe we can pick one of them to, remem to memorize for June. Um, I hope you guys have a really good week and a really good day off on Monday, and a good time when you go back into school or into preschool um, 
next Tuesday and next week. And we'll be praying for you guys here at Hope Church. See you next week, guys. Bye. about when the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and God made the water stop so they could cross on dry ground. And it's, it's a really cool story. It's just like when Moses parted the Red Sea and God stopped the water then. And God shows how powerful he is. And so once they crossed, God gave them instructions to pick up 12 stones so that they could build a memorial. And a memorial is something to help you remember something special that happened. And in this case, God wanted them to remember the time that he helped them cross the Jordan. And we have this page is in your craft kit. You'll find it in your craft kit. There's a Bible verse on it. And it says, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty. That means that God is very strong. And that comes from Joshua 4 verse 24. So if you will get your craft kit out and you can find this paper, that's what we're going to be doing today. And it's so it can go into our binder when we're finished. And the first step, well, actually get the paper out. And also you need to get out some fruit loops from your craft kit. Yeah, they're in your craft kit. And then you will also need some glue and some crayons. We did the Ten Commandments. We did do the Ten Commandments, that's right. So if you will, get your crayons out and your paper, and the first step is to color it. So we will start with that. Coloring her 
picture, so she, she's got it all finished. And for the memorial, they used 12 stones, and stones are very heavy, so we can't exactly glue 12 stones to our paper. But the good thing about art is that you can be creative. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these Fruit Loops as our stones. And we need 12 of these to build our memorial. Okay, so okay. we can count out 12 Fruit Loops. That's one, two, two Okay, team, that's 12. Okay, so you count out 12 of yours, and then we're going to use our glue, and you can make glue. 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 So what glue. we can do, Jane, is we can sort of stack them like a, um, like a wall or something. You can make them look like that, however you yeah. want your memorial to look. And then we have to let the glue dry so that they will stay on the paper. Mm -hmm. doing good. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah. All right, so we have 12, and it looks like this. And we are going to let it dry. <laughs> it's like Jane's going to do another one. And after it dries, you can put it into your binder. And that way you can use it to help remember the story about whenever the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and God made the water stop so they could cross. And it will help you also to remember that God is very strong, He's mighty, and you can trust Him to take care of you. We hope you guys have a great time doing your craft. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.